Hello and welcome back, I'm Lucifer and this is Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon. Last time we escaped the continent of Altea, however not without cost, as we were forced to sacrifice Sir Yegan on the way out. This time we'll be continuing to uh, do things with Marth and his little group of soldiers, and hopefully we're going to start our way towards taking back Altea from Gra. Best intro ever. Anyway, Marth, Prince of Altea, was lucky. Though Deluna took from him his kingdom and all but a handful of knights, they could not take his life. Marth lived and made it to the eastern, eastern Isle of Tallies. Tallies was a small border kingdom with no grand order of knights to boast of, but its king selflessly gave Marth the use of the Isle's eastern fortress. And as he saw the boy shake with anger and grief, he also gave wise counsel. Prince Marth, he said, I do not doubt you love your sister something great. But you must be patient. Time is on your side. If you stay here and grow stronger, a time will come when you can help her. So Marth stayed in tallies, protected by its kind people, and the year and the years went by. Ah, you have a visitor from the castle. It's Princess Sheeda. Sheeda? Okay, Sheeda. Not a bad name, in all honesty. Sheeda, what is it? You look white as a sheet. She doesn't really. Mask, come quickly. The castle. Gelda's pirates attacked from out of nowhere. They stormed the gates and cut down everyone in their path. I fear for my father's life. Steady, Sheeda. You did well to come find us. He looks different. Mask looks different. Hmm. The, the, the chin looks weird. Hmm. Sorry, I'm right in the moment. Uh, Altea's bravest knights aren't about to hand tallies to that flock of seafowl. Come, we, not, we'll, we will make for the castle now. Okay, so it looks like we've got two new units. We've got uh, Draug here. He is a knight. Um, and I've never been much of a fan of the knight class. I mean, I've been using Kel a little bit in um, Awakening. Uh, pointing over there, because that's my 3DS's. Um, uh, but you, know, you never know. They're they're all right. Uh, and then we got Sheeda, who is a Pegasus Knight. They are they're they're great. I love Pegasus Knights. Uh, making excessive use of Cordelia. She's pretty overpowered in Awakening. Anyway, it, but I, I compare too much to Awakening. I think yeah, I really do. Anyway, um, down here we have a thief. Now they can just like pinch shit and. And if they do, then you can pinch the shit straight off them when you kill them. Um, um, let's see what else we got here. Um, an armory. What's an armory do, I wonder? Um, I'll have Gordon check that out. Good day! What can I help you with? Oh, we can, this is where we buy stuff. Have a, okay, we, we have no money, so don't think we're going to be buying much, but they just got like some. They got iron equipment, uh, so. Uh, what to sell? Uh, nothing. Um, okay, um, so we've got a few houses here. And we've got a village there. And we've got a fortress here. Okay, so how are we going to deal with this? Um, well, I think we can send... Uh, we'll send Kane down here. Um... Because he has a lower lance level than Frey does, so we'll try and level him up a little bit. Um, was, that, was that no damage? <laughs> Pretty cool. Um, well, it looks like we may as well just send Frey down to finish him off anyway. That was not very good. Anyway, level up! Uh, Frey is now level 4. Uh, decent. Okay, so we're taking care of that thief. Uh, so we'll have them check out that uh, those ruins next time. Uh, that's something I'm not familiar with. Um, anyway, we'll have Abel. Oh no, you, you, you Marth has to do the villages, doesn't he? Um, so, uh... Bridge Marth, it is good you stop by. The villagers have collected ten thousand gold pieces. If it please you, use the money to arm your warriors and rid our land of those pirates. We won the lottery, guys! 
Um, <coughs> so now we've got some we've got some cash. Uh, I think I think that's universal between units. So we'll, we'll send this. Guy. How are these guys equipped? A, a wing a wing spear. I've never. I don't, I'm not familiar. Um, let's uh, see what we've got. Strong against cavalry and armored units. Fushida, so it's specifically her weapon. That's pretty cool. Um, um, he's just got iron lance. Uh, how are we doing for equipment generally? Um, his rapier's run out of it, but he's got an iron sword in reserve anyway. Um, yeah, we're, we're, we're not, not going to need to restock, I don't think. And so, down here, we have pirates. That's a new class. I think. I, that was an awakening, I'm pretty sure. But, um, so they've got axes. Um, just one skill. It, the stats aren't that scary by the looks, so, um, we've just got to seize that. So, I guess we'll, uh, we'll start by visiting this house. A knight belongs on the front lines, if you ask me. That thick armor could take a lot of abuse, so they can be put up front protecting the units. Okay, so he's, they're suggesting putting him up front. So I guess we'll do that, just plonk him there. Uh, Shida. Uh, Shida's got massive range and can fly over water because she's, a, she's, a, she's on a Pegasus. So that's, pro that's one of the reasons I like them so much. They're very good for getting up, sh ferrying other units around, uh, even if, um, even if uh, uh, pairing up isn't in this game. Uh, so, hang on, let's just quickly check the enemy boundaries. Um, so he's going to come up and hit uh, Draug. Uh, Shida, you can check this house, I guess. Uh, need a high weapon level to wield the strongest weapons. I think, yeah, I touched on this last episode, I'm pretty sure. Keep your flyers well away from those enemy archers. Yes, that is, that is massive. You have, no, you have no idea how many Pegasus snipes I have lost to goddamn archers I didn't notice. So you've got to be very careful of archers. In fact, let's just take a quick look around, see if there are any archers around here. They also do pirate. Oh no, there's one. We've got a hunter there. He's got an iron bow. So we'll mark. We'll mark him. So we'll know. Uh, um, on. Let's just yeah, mark his range specifically, because uh, you can't have the two overlap in this game by the looks. But yeah. We'll uh, be careful not to fly Shida into this red bit here, because she did. <laughs> um, anyway, what we're we gonna do with Abel? Abel, well, you can just check out this last house, I guess. No, just keep the gates open for Prince Mars, but you must be quick. If a thief reaches the village before Prince does, there may not be any village left to visit. Oh, okay, that's what the ruins are down there. I see. Uh, a bit of damage on Draug. Uh, you can just hit him back. He moves really slowly. <laughs> okay. Um. I hate that. Are those guys walking on water? Yeah, they're 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 walking. Is that a pirate thing? Can pirates walk on water now? That's just. Realism at its finest. But we might have to talk about a game with magic and dragons and all that amazing crap. Anyway, uh, before we can get distracted too much, I think we're going to have you attack him. We'll have Gordon use the bow on him. Um, that didn't quite kill him, but Gordon should be able to finish him off. Or should, no, I think I'll let Sheena do it, because she hasn't fought yet. Um, boom. Done. Okay. So, uh, from here we're gonna have Drow deal with this guy. He's not gonna quite deal with him though. So, um, we'll have Abel start off against him. Um, and we'll have Drow come and finish him off, hopefully. Yeah, he's not gonna quite finish him off though, that's a thing. But, oh well, we can just finish him off when he attacks one of them. Uh, they're gonna be left on one. That's amazing. Okay, yeah, wonderful. And uh, Drow's pretty tanky by the looks. Um, so that's good. Um, yeah, yeah, those ruins not worthwhile. Just to uh, have Frey and Kane always uh, back up here. Lovely. And we'll have Marth right over here as well. Enemy phase! So they're gonna run over here, take on Draug. Um, okay. Nothing to worry about there. 
Now he's gonna attack Sheeta. Okay, that didn't, didn't really expect that. I would have thought he'd get one of the two people directly next to him. But not that it really matters, I don't care. Like, those guys are walking. I, still, I can't get over the fact that those guys are walking on water. Anyway, um. Uh, yeah, you can just take him out. Lovely. This music sounds kind of Pokemon-y, or is that just me? It sounds like it could be a root theme. I don't know. Anyway, um... Uh, everyone catch up. I don't have any healing items, because she did probably use a Vulnery. Uh, Frey's got the Vulnerys and he's already had his turn. I should probably think about these things in advance. Um... Everyone's gonna get hit probably this time. Uh, I think I'm gonna have Shida and Mars and Gordon going back a little bit, just outside of enemy range. Um, like so. Um, how is he doing for health? He's on full health, so. Um, yeah, what the hell, he'll be fine. Didn't even hit him. He's like, he's like, float like a butterfly, sting like a guy with a javelin. He chips away at Frey a little bit. Critical hits! Gotta love critical hits. Pity there's no critical hit quotes in this game, because, you know, some of those were amazing. Pick a god and pray! Almost at a level there. Uh, does a bit of damage on Abel. Abel does a bit of damage back. Everything seems to be going pretty well. Okay, um, um, we'll have evil <laughs> voice track. Um, he's got a javelin and a sword, so I can probably, okay. The javelin actually does more damage. A bit surprising, I guess. I don't know. Uh, oh, it's because spears are, no, no, javelins are less effective. How does, I don't, <laughs> I don't even know. Um, okay, so, Shida can go up there and just about deal with it, I don't know, I'm not sure about leaving her on low health, I'm not, I don't like leaving anyone on low health, um, uh, Marth can, yeah, Marth can, Marth can do it. Pretty good music in this game. I like it. Um, so she is the only one who can finish that guy off. But I'm not sure. Uh, put her up there, and she can just hit him. Hopefully. Oh, she fucking missed. She. Ah. Uh, I was just gonna say, hopefully she doesn't. And then she goes and misses and loses like a huge chunk of her. Oh, fuck's sake. If she dies, oh no, okay. Optimism, gotta be optimistic. I, my god, uh, this is a fucking disaster. I do not like where this is going. Uh, I, don't, I don't know why I'm piling them all up, that's not gonna help in this game. Oh uh, shit, I'm, brace yourself, Sheeta. Okay, at least he's not the uh, guy with the bug. Because that could be worse. Good thing I have the javelin as well, because it meant I could hit back. Um, oh, okay, good. Never have I been more. Okay, I've probably been more around for a miss before, but it's nice to have a miss. Um, oh shit, one health. Oh fuck. Oh. Oh no. Uh, um. Level up! <laughs> okay, um. Alright, well, we're in the Sheeta. Okay, Freddy heals a little bit because he's in a fort. Let's, 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 let's Sheeta pull back. 
Um, because uh, we do not want to be dealing with her dying. And um, I'll have Abel finish her. Why is the javelin doing more damage than the sword? I thought the javelins are supposed to be like weaker long range weapons. They like do two damage normally, I swear. I guess the game series changed a lot in the time. Anyway, uh, that was Abel getting a level. Um, yeah, I'm not going to be able to get him even with a bow, so... Um, just everyone everyone draw down a little bit. I have Frey backtrack to give Shida a vulnerary, because <laughs> she needs a fucking heal. Um, there we go. Um, Marth, pull back a little bit. Marth go in the fort. He can deal with, uh, this guy. Um, and we'll leave him here. Let's back him up in case things go awry. Okay. Awesome. Good job, Marth. Play phase. Marth has a heal. Uh, she, uh, we can move her forward a little bit. Um, he's a vulnerary. Heal up a little bit. Because, Jesus Christ, that was close! Um, break, move forwards. We'll keep everyone bunched together. We'll end the turn. Uh, no skin of our teeth because the enemy doesn't do anything. Uh, we'll draw lead. And then everyone else can follow. I have Shida approach from the mountain, because why the hell not? Um, why not be a horseman? And Marth can just go here, and I... Gordon's probably gonna lag behind a little bit, yep. Okay, enemy phase. Player phase. So, um... Let's be careful here. Okay, you can use your javelin on him. I fucking... The misses! God love the random number generators. Um... I'll have him go there to back him up. He needs it. Drow... Drow can go in the fort. Because nothing beats a good tank. And uh, nothing like a good tank needing to heal. Or, or, no, or just him healing. God, my brain's all over the place today. Um... And Gordon will continue to lag behind. Now, I'm, I'm not sure whether to send her in or not. Uh, how much health is she on? She'll probably use another bouldering. Yeah, I'll heal her up a little bit, I think. Dunk her, dunk her there. Heal her up. Okay. So they're attacking Kane. Do a little bit of damage. We get him back. Uh, and then they go for Kane again. They seem to like Kane. Maybe the red hair is like standing out. Uh, anyway. Neither of them managed to get the best of him, fortunately. And now the one's going after Abel. Uh, Abel's like around half health, I'd say. Okay, the guy who's guarding the uh, seize point seems to be Gazuk. Gazuk. Interesting name. Interesting name. Uh, anyway, we'll have Kane take care of this guy. And we'll have Abel take care of this guy. And we'll have Shida take care of the last guy. And everything works out nicely. Um, okay, awesome. Now, we'll have Marth run this way to catch up to the village. Um, Frey can come down here, check the houses. Like, they literally just tell you stuff, but I'm still not doing this. Um, a man on the, a man of the staff by the name of Reeves lives in the village south of the castle. I was hoping to... He was hoping to meet your prince. Sorry, that village here. So, like, a, a unit to a recruit. That's cool. Okay. This is something that wasn't in Awakening, I don't think. We're just going to random villages. Although, I think Muriel's son was in a village. I, I don't know. For how much I love Awakening, I need to play more of it. Anyway, so we'll have, uh, you go here. There it is. Together we ride. Now it's called Come Join Us. And this one. Together we ride is a cooler title, but 
I am Reese, humble, humble curate. I cannot fight, but this stuff I carry can heal your wounded. Ah ha ha! It's a healer! Yes, just what we needed. <laughs> Take me with you, and you'll be very glad you did. Awesome. So now we've got a, a curate, I guess. Yeah, there we go. We've got a heal, so I guess we'll use that on uh, Abel. Heal him up. Lovely. Lovely stuff. Uh, he can't attack, sadly. So you can see he's got no uh, actual weapon uh, ranks. He's only got the staves. Um, but regardless, let's see how we can deal with this guy. I'm not sending in Shida, that's definite. Um, let's see, Kane, what can you do? You can do 6 damage while taking 9 yourself. It's half your health, but oh well. <laughs> Why not here, you say now? Ah, ye sprogs look, look like look to be might short and might. Ye sprogs look to be might short, my oh my dear, um, to, to me. I, I can't do. <laughs> can't do pirate. Yar har fiddle dee dee is about as far as I can go. Anyway, um. We want to be. Uh, weapon level up! He is now a rank D on the. on the lance. Um. So that's nice. We'll have Abel Lance a javelin him, even. Well, because, uh, you know, he can't hit back. Can't go wrong with a bit of uh, javelin. We'll have Drow come up and hit him a bit. Only for five health, but oh well. Um, it's good enough. Um, and I guess Shida will. Finish him off, hopefully. How much damage is it? Okay, two fours. Um, if he hasn't got a critical hit chance, as long as we don't miss, we should be fine. Fingers crossed. Let's see how it goes. Fuck! We fucking missed! Yay! Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, she's fucking dead. Oh no! Oh. Gee, no! Oh. Uh. oh god, it was going so well too. Oh, he heals! Oh, thank Christ! I know he attacks as well. Oh shit! He missed! He missed! Oh yes! Arr, you pay, you, you'll pay, dog! Ah, oh, yes! Yes! And she gets a level up, well deserved. Awesome stuff, yes! This is why I love Fire Emblem. The moments where everything just suddenly goes right. That is, that is why I love Fire Emblem. Anyway, we'll now seize this, and we will proceed to the next chapter. Ah, Prince Marth, you have saved uh, you have saved us in our hour of need. Please accept my thanks. Lad, I believe you are ready. If you wish to seek out our allies in allies, allies in Orlis, I will give you what soldiers I can to see that you arrive there safely. Captain Ogmar is a fine swordsman, brave and true. I know he and his fighters will serve you well. Another thing, during your travels you are certain to meet many who, dis who despise Daluna. Some may be hiding in villages, others may have been captured or forced to fight against their will or better judgement. It falls upon you to find these individuals and win them over to your cause, understood lad? Then go, the time has come. Be patient, steady, strong. I know you will do great things. And just like that, that's the end of this episode of Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon. So, this time we saved this island from pirates, and next time we'll be setting out to find some allies in our quest against Daluna. I will see you guys then!